welcome to yet another video review with me, Peter, the Master of Puppets, Mess, and Jakob, Lord of Mortals. <laughs> <laughs> you can be an apprentice of Mortals. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, we're going to review Belgian beer tonight, uh, and we've been told by uh, Brian Davis, for, uh, the head brewer of Sugos Bokus, that uh, this is a really nice Belgian style IPA. I mean, uh, in the States there's currently a trend of making Belgian IPAs like Stone has the Stone Calibrelic, and he says this is the beer they are trying to be. So he said, Def "You, you have." He like took it down from himself and said, "You, you guys are drinking this tonight." <laughs> we didn't have a choice. <laughs> no. So it's the Schuf Hublon Double Double IPA Triple. So nine percent, and it's actually going to be my first beer from my Schuf uh, in Belgium. Or a shuf? Yeah. Possibly the a shuf. Yeah, possibly. Uh, it's a nine percent, so it's a huge beer, and it's kind of like it's an it, it's a triple, but it's hopped like an American double IPA. It it blended the traditions of the English IPA and an American revolution of the IPA. So, so we don't really know what hops there in it. No, not at all. We know it's on fifty nine IBUs though, so it's kind of like a regular IPA more mm -hmm. than a double. But here it is, fairly clear color there with some hazy notes in it. I think I got. Oh, not clear. Sorry. Bright. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's. Uh, it's, it's a yeast haze, right? Yeah, it's yeah. yeast haze, not hop haze, and it's uh, it's a, like a bright, yellowish, yeah, kind of almost golden. Fairly good combination. Yeah, as many Belgian beers, mm. it looks like it has a nice combination. White head, not much of it though. Nope. Let's check out the aroma on this. I actually do get a slight amount of skunk. Maybe a little, yeah. Just, just the slightest, like a. Shh, shh, don't ruin my experience. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> no, but. <laughs> A lot of citrus in there. Yeah. Right? That. A lot of citrus. And it's like the lemony kind of citrus, yeah. not grapefruit or something like that. And, and it's not an all an IPA flu uh, smell. No, no, no. It's the, tri the triple or the, 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 yeast, the yeast. The yeast of, of the triple yeah, is like really the dominant. Yeah, the ester from the, the Belgian triple is yeah. really shiny. So I get like that kind of a green apple y kind of aroma to it. And you can smell a little bit of the alcohol also. Yeah, just, just a touch of it. Maybe a slightly breadiness in there, some spices too, like a, maybe a clove or a peppery kind of spice in there. And it's got that doughy, yeasty character some, yeah. some mm. Belgian beers do. It smells nice though, mm. uh, but it smells more like a triple than mm. an IPA, but we don't really know how old this is. So, uh, what about you guys? What, what do you get? I, get? I get some kind of lemon cake. Kind of quality, oh. doughy lemon. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's it. Animal, that's animal. Animal. Kind of sugary, foamy. Foamy. We grounded on sugar. Kind of. Foamy is the uh, powdered sugar. Powdered oh, sugar. Powder sugar. Yeah. yeah. Let's see how it tastes. Yeah. Let's, let's see. Let's do that. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Tastes much more like a triple with citric notes in it. Yeah, and there's a touch of alcohol in there too. I think. Mm. What would you guys call the body on it? Medium. I think, yeah, maybe almost light, light to medium. It's got a lot of carbonation though, like a lot of Belgian beers has. Um, skunk was more present in the aroma. There isn't really any skunky sourness in here in the flavor, but it, I think it mostly tastes like a triple. Yeah, with some extra citrus. Yeah, because there's, it's a, got there's much actually more. a lot of citrus in it. Yeah, now. and it's not really when you start to really dig, dig into it. Yeah. yeah, it's it's not really the grapefruity thing when you think of West Coast IPA. No, it's, it's, it's more, more like, like a sharp citrusy, yeah, like, like a, a plain, plain citrus. Yeah, yeah, Cit like a plain just citrus yeah. fruits, and then more the more sour ones than the sweeter ones like oranges. Mm -hmm. Maybe more like a limes, uh, lemon kind of mm. flavor. I can actually get a lot of like a peppery spice on the back of the palate when you mm. just swallow it. Yeah. Feels fairly peppery, but usually triples are fairly peppery. Uh, and slightly spice. Touch of clove in there too. The doughy breadiness isn't there really. It's not at all bread. No, no, it's really drinkable in a sense. <laughs> yeah, it's really drinkable. You mm. do taste a touch of the 9% alcohol, I yeah. think, but it's it's quite drinkable. What about you guys? What yeah. do you get? Well, well, I think I think I would say the alcohol is quite strong. It 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 is it's a beer that warns you how strong yeah. it is. Yeah. So it's a beer you it's will not be, dangerous. No, well no, you will be sipping it because you can tell you can really taste that there's there's alcohol in it. Without it being in a uh, depreciating factor or disgusting factor, it's a, it's a nice nice beer. Again, this feels like a nice summer beer. Yeah. Um, almost got like a apple herb, kind of. Yeah, and no, then no, like a herb, herbal kind of note in the back there when I just sipped it. 
That's a fun fun thing when we were sitting drinking three guys because you get so many different taste impressions because <laughs> every palate is different. But um, it's a good beer. Yeah. I'm not blown away by it. I would love to try it fresh though. I'm right getting here. a 77. Mm. Good beer. Just a 77. Yeah, good beer. Yeah. Always, always one you could pick up. Yeah. But uh, I'm going easy. It's definitely drinkable. I almost drank mine, but <laughs> it's nothing, as you say, nothing. It's not like, like the best mile at Slippery, which is like the best triple, or one of the best triples out there, which is like my favorite. Mm. I'm, I'm, also, I'm landing closer to you, I'm landing 75, it's close to an 80, it's close to being a great beer, uh, and I think it would be more of an 80 beer if I had it fresh, so I could get more of the IPA uh, component to it. Mm. Uh, but still a nice brew, definitely worth picking up. Um, if you do get the, what was it? Brasserie de la Chouf. Brasserie de la Chouf. Beers? De la Chouf. Yeah. De la Chouf. <laughs> Brasserie de la Chouf. It's definitely worth checking out if you get their beers. So um, that is, that's it for this review, guys. A 75 from me, a 77 from Mess, and an 80 from Jakob. For the <laughs> Chouf Houblon Dublin IPA Triple. That's our name. <laughs> And yeah, guys, let us know what you think of it. If uh, think of it, if you've had it, and as always, remember to comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And we're gonna say cheers. 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 And, and we'll, we'll see you in another beer review. <laughs> <laughs>